love you all No such thing No such thing as a life that's better than yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours Love you all What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Lacey to the NP. What's up? What's up? And welcome to my 30th birthday celebration. Okay, I am in Panama City, Panama for my 30th and yeah, I just got in my hotel room. I have a cooking class booked later for today and then after that, I'm gonna just chill out. I want to show y'all my room. I'm staying at the JW Marriott in Panama. Super, super nice. Everyone has been very helpful. Slight delay on the room, but they got me in. Um, my girl was even able to verify. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm thirsty. Um, verify like my cooking class for me, the address. She made phone calls to speak in Spanish for me because un poquito espanol, okay? I no habla espanol for real, for real. <laughs> so, um, she made the phone calls for me and was like, yeah, I want to verify the address, make sure you're getting there safely. So, she didn't have to do that. I appreciate that. Let me show y'all the room because it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So, let's get into it. change i took a quick little what we call the whole bath bird bath because i didn't really have much time between getting from the airport to here and waiting on the room to be ready i didn't have much time between then and now for my cooking class so i'm gonna show y'all a quick little outfit i just threw on one of my little throw on walk around outfits so let me show y'all so two piece from shein like a beige nude satin two-piece set super cute i really just kind of threw it on i'm gonna take my tote bag i have like little smaller ones but i think it's gonna be best for me to bring my tote bag with me so that way i can kind of throw my camera bring y'all with me my phone chargers all of that uh sandals you all have seen these numerous of times some white sandals I have on ornament from Amazon. I can link that down below. It's one of the Arabian scents from Amazon. Jewelry, plain jewelry. Movado watch, bracelet from Amazon, glasses from Zilu, necklace from my dad. Uh, hair, the Rico collection. Very cute, easy to take care of and maintain. Okay, so let me call my Uber. Y'all, Ubers out here are cheap. Y'all know I be complaining about Ubers. My Uber ride is $4. <laughs> All right, let's go get an Uber. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's affecting the climate. So that's why. It's my oldest night. <laughs> that means it's still gonna be the best night. Yeah. <laughs> we There you go. Good job. So we need red bell peppers. Uh -huh. We also need ginger. We need tomatoes. We need onions as well. Okay. So these onions, I soak them in water like this. You do it at least 15 minutes before you start cooking, okay? To avoid you from crying, crying and mm -hmm. getting emotional. <laughs> you put it in cold water for 15 minutes. Okay. And you also need garlic. We also need chili because jello fries traditionally should be spicy, spicy. especially in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But I don't like making it that spicy because on the side we're going to make a spicy sauce. Okay. Yeah. Muy bien. What else do we need? We need our meat. Meat can be either pork, of your choice, meat of your choice, mutton, uh, lamb, can be uh, beef, can be chicken jollof, whatever. So now we have beef jollof we're gonna make today. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is just rinse this. We cut them, chop them into big, big, big uh, chunks because we're gonna blend it afterwards. 
You know how I do it when you have bell peppers at home like this? You push it. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You know that. <laughs> Good. Yeah, and that's that's a sign that you've been cooking. Yeah. That's a really big sign. Let me give you a place you can put there. Yeah. Okay. And your husband or boyfriend? No, or? not right now. Oh, at the moment, no. Uh, at the moment, no. Not at the moment. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of men out there. It is. Yes. You gotta be the right one, though. Exactly. That's the thing. Very important. You gotta be the right person. <laughs> <laughs> not just anybody. Okay, good. Okay, so good enough. Muy bien. Just put it in there. Perfecto. And the next thing we need to, we need is garlic. You're gonna help me with this too. We don't need to peel them, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. Just to cut the top part, to make sure each and every clove is open like that. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on top of this. So uh, this is trending now, especially on TikTok. People do it quite a lot now. When you, when you roast your garlic like this, mm -hmm. and then when it's roasted, you just turn it like this and squeeze it, they all drop out. Each I didn't know that. Out. Yeah, it's very practical. Full pack? Yeah, full pack. Thank you so much. Good job. Actually, you need one more. That's not enough. It has to have a little bit of spiciness in it, even though you're not going to add chili in it. Uh -huh. You're going to make a very nice spicy sauce on the side. Yeah, and then you're gonna sprinkle some paprika as well. You know the way the, the African way of cooking or the uh, uh, traditional Panamanian way of cooking. Mm -hmm. There's not two spoons of this, three spoons of that. It's by feel. Yeah. Okay. So you sprinkle. <laughs> I'll let you know when to stop. Okay. Keep going. We need quite some paprika because paprika is actually one of the main ingredients. Smoked paprika is one of the main ingredients on uh, jello fries. Now we're gonna peel yuca. Okay? okay. Yuca is very easy to peel. Just cut with your knife through this the peel only. Just like that. You can do that. If you don't mind. If you have a boyfriend, Good. that's it. Perfecto. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you wanna do is to lift up the peel like this. Correct? Yeah. Good. And at this point, you're just going to do like this, ah. with, your, with your hands, this with your fingers. Difficult. No, if it gets stuck with the knife, just to lift it up and then you continue. Yeah, look at yours, is better than mine. <laughs> Maybe because you have long nails. <laughs> so you have long for long time. Yeah, yeah, it's good to do something. Yeah, okay. okay. Like even in the homes, uh, when they in the evening hours, mm -hmm. you know, and Sony is known to be careful with your finger. That's the sharp part of the knife. Good job. Good job. I'll get my spoon as well. So the characteristics of your love rice taste, it should have the roast taste, should be spicy of course, should be uh, have a bit of burnt taste as well. Hey. Yes, traditional jollof rice, when you cook it, to know when the right rice is ready, you have to get the burnt smell in the air. That's when you know your jollof rice is ready, you turn it off. It's hot. So for you, you will hold it with a paper, piece of paper, to make sure you don't get the burnt. the yuca okay so for now just the peel cut all the way down the knife is pretty sharp so don't cut too deep just the peel uh -huh. you can take it up a little bit because nice so nice good and then at the end there you can lift up the peel like this with your knife uh -huh, correct that's good enough 
Good job. So now you put your finger through and then just peel. Wow, that came out really nice. Muy bien. Easy. It's a bit difficult, for, it's, diff, it's harder compared, compared to the normal bananas we eat. But this is raw. These are plantains? Plantains, yes. They look small, huh? <laughs> small plantains. I just big. never peeled them before. Never. Mm -mm. <laughs> How much was all of that yucca? That's a lot. That's a lot. But we're not gonna make it all. <laughs> we're just gonna make a little. <laughs> Good job. You're doing great. Look at that. So bien. Bebe. Is it what's what's the thing the other thing on top then? Is it huh? do you still have a space for that? For more? Of course I do. Yeah. yeah like yeah, she leaves <laughs> just yeah. Alright. So no more, no more, okay? I can I can finish it for you. Mm. That's okay. <laughs> oh, it's a video. Okay. It's a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Salud. Salud. It's me, don't worry. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it like this. on my patio or balcony <laughs> um i just got room service because i can't make it out today i think i'm gonna stick around the hotel but let me show y'all what i got for breakfast sorry if the camera fogging up because you know humidity is real so we got some potatoes and tea eggs pancakes bacon croissants and some fruit which i'm real excited about they brought me some papaya juice. I want to taste it so bad. Because the fruit here, oh my god, it's so good. Like, so fresh. And this is the freshly squeezed juice. Mm -mm. It don't taste like much of nothing. They can feel bad. So let me tell y'all. Last night was so unplanned, but I had so much fun. So, after the cooking class, well, let me tell y'all, the cooking class was the chef and his wife, it was kind of hosted at their home, which is crazy to say that I did that, but yeah, went to their home. I was the only one who did the cooking class. He has two things. He has the cooking class and then he has dining with him, which other people paid for that and they were going to join us later to eat. And so that's what happened. Two other girls and a tour guide came and they were solo travelers as well and then after that we was like let's go out so we went out to salsa dancing and it was so much fun so shout out to them because they were really giving me like little tips for solo traveling groups to look out for and i had fun like that was the whole goal of this trip to do things outside of the box kind of get me outside of my comfort zone this is not just like a relaxation vacation, but really trying to explore and network and communicate because this is not like a beach city. Like you have to travel out to go to the beach or do an excursion. So uh, when it comes to doing things locally and how to find different events, that's kind of what I wanted to dig into more so like the cultural aspect of things. Plus with a little bit of relaxation because I deserve Okay, I'm going to finish my breakfast. I'm going to get back to y'all once I'm really up and moving around. I think today I'm going to just stick around the hotel, maybe do a pool day, spa, something, something like that. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'll check back in later. It's a little bit later in the day. I am now up and rejuvenated. About to go lay out by the pool for a little bit. Back from Shein. She in. Come on now. You guessed it. 
She in. I'm racking up. They look fun because you know they under repo. So, um, little gold chunky bracelet, a little ring, some sunglasses. Wet my wig a little bit, but I ain't do too much. Necklace. This came from Sex Off Fifth, I think. And I just have on some brown sandals. Keeping it real cute and casual. shower did a little skincare i booked me a dinner reservation when i was out there so let me see it's like seven now i made the reservation for nine or maybe 9 15 let me double check 9 15 so gonna do a little face because the dress i'm wearing is kind of like basic it's still cute but it's basic so i'm gonna do something to my face i don't want to be out too late because i got an excursion to do tomorrow and I have to be up very early I think I have to be there at 8 a.m. so yeah I ain't gonna um, be out too too late tonight but let's let's be the little face you know my do my little one too because y'all know I don't do too much with makeup but let's get started the love that's in between So here is the fit for the night. Cute little French dress. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just carry the straw bag that I had at the pool earlier. I think it's cute. And then I got all my gold sandals. So, oh, I'm about to fall. All right, let's see. One last look. Scent. Let me grab a scent. I do not have on any perfume. I'm on me. Time for him. Put on some body shimmer. And, you know, the scent in here is Soleil Blanc. And then Born in Roma by Valentino. We're going to do both of these. So, let me spray this on first. Get my shimmer on first. And now, Born Aroma. I'm really just gonna do my pulse points. I can't forget my rings. Let me put on my rings. And then we'll be good to go. Rings on, jewelry on. Y'all feeling it warm? What? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Let's go eat. <laughs> Big 3 
everybody wish me happy birthday in the comments thank you appreciate it all right so it's about like let's see 7 30 i reserved a uber ride last night for them to be here by 7 40 so before i go let me show you all what i have on for the day all right so swimsuit is from h&m just like a little zebra print one piece some parachute pants from Shein, i believe a uh, bracelet just a gold chunky bracelet cute little ring shades rewet my hair i'm gonna bring this bag with me for today this is from target um, so I'm going on a catamaran excursion today over to the beach, one of the beach islands nearby. So I have like my towel, sunscreen, chargers, batteries for y'all, you know, everything is in here and some water, cash, all of that. So this is the fit. Look at the earrings, y'all. Those are cute too. All right, so let's get going. Let me go downstairs and be ready. So that way the Uber, when they get here, I'm ready to go. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Really loud. I might be rough around the edges, maybe, yes. yes. I keep it happy and I do what makes me happy and nobody can deny me that I'm there. I might be rough around the edges, maybe, Keeping happy and I do what makes me happy and nobody can deny me that I'm there. Right, so y'all just got out of the water. Let me count that. Y'all just got out of the water. Y'all just got out of the water. The island initially was named after the church, so this was the San Pedro Island, but then they changed the name to Taboga Island. Taboga is an indigenous word that means abundant fish. Sometimes we can see the sun, yeah. We got up in lights and our light shines on, yeah. Y'all, we made it to Taboga Island. Super cute here. Very local. But I'm lit. It's all you can drink on the boat, so I'm like six, seven drinks in. But I'm gonna go get me some ceviche and then we're gonna chill by the beach. Who is to say for you and me when something meant to be? Soon the world will see. Just me when I say goodbye. At this point, I need some water. Huh. I gotta calm down. I know my little got to be. It's definitely melted off. nobody here this is so sweet okay champagne i'm already lit but we're gonna get even more lit oh this is so cute good morning good morning so today is saturday august the 26th i didn't do anything after i got in from the boat I pretty much crashed for the night because I was tired and sun. You know how it is when you're in the sun all day to beat you down. But I'm up now. 
Uh, today is my last full day here. I'm about to go to Costco Viejo, which is kind of like their old town. So if you've ever been to like San Juan, you know how they have old San Juan or New Orleans, how they have like French quarters, like the old, old town. Even in Tampa, Ybor is like old town. That's where I'm about to go. So it's supposed to be full of culture. I'm gonna grab me a bite to eat out there, walk around, and then I'm gonna come back here and try to pack up so that way I don't have to do it tonight uh, before I go to dinner. So I'm laying my edges down. Child, I know my forehead definitely not caught a tan because my wig, the lace is definitely a different color on my forehead now, but it's cool. I'm 30 shades on. And we're going to keep on pushing. Let me show y'all what I have on right quick. So I just have on a little two-piece linen set. Nice and comfy. I'm going to carry this bag with me so that way I can bring y'all along with me in my chargers. And I'm going to just throw on some tennis shoes with this. You're not even going to be able to see them because the pants are... So long, low key, they need to be hemmed, but it's cool. Jewelry for the day. I'm walking the streets trying to find me a good picture. Spot where I'm not gonna get hit because the way they drive out here, I wouldn't make it, I wouldn't survive. They'll blow their horn at me all the time, all the freaking time. They do not mind getting real close. And I'm not trying to end up in that hospital out here. I'm sure, it's a great hospital. I'm not trying to find out. <laughs> is that the L? I'm from Israel, by the way. Oh, okay. What he does is just gonna clean you a little bit under the eyes. <laughs> Central Hotel since 1874. 1874. Right? 1874. Most famous French architect, French Oxide. Uh, okay. Okay. Very welcome to the three story of also Panama story. So let's please follow me. Let me get my key to unlock it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fog up as soon as I step out. It's so hot. Later, 
as you can see I am dressed about to take me some pictures before I go to dinner I'm going to this Italian restaurant tonight it's supposed to be really cute and I heard the food is good so we're gonna head out there I'm opening up the bottle of um I guess it's champagne that they gave me for my birthday pour me up a glass for that if I can get the bottle open champagne bottles are always just too much ah, it's about to pop personal item I guess but today's the last thing last night was so much fun I met a group of girls like I went to dinner by myself and I was sitting at the bar and one of the girls was like you want to come join us and it ended up being um, one of the other girls birthday yesterday so I thought my god my birthday was the day before so and then we ended up coincidentally same color i had an orange they had an orange so i thought oh i'm part of the birthday crew but it was so nice it was so sweet so shout outs to them they came from charlotte and new york and they were just so cool we had a good night after dinner they taught me into going back to selena's um music was good vibe was good conversation was good so I enjoy a good girls girl like they they are really a good group of friends they remind me of my friends and I so it was cool we followed each other on Instagram and hopefully I can stay in contact with them I have maybe about 20 more minutes 30 more minutes before I'm gonna go downstairs and check out so I haven't had anything to eat yet we're having a champagne breakfast this morning one last time okay I'll grab something to eat at the airport. <laughs> so, cheers to 30. More life. More love. Wealth and health. Okay? Cheers. <laughs>